Now, if you were able to pick up a Google Pixel 4 or 4XL and you wanna maximize that experience, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. This is EBP Man Tech Reviews and today we're gonna to go over the first 10 things you should do as soon as you get your Pixel in your hand. Let's get right to it. Now the Google Pixel 4 and 4 XL is incredibly customizable. You can create any experience you want, but there's some basic things that were driving me a little crazy that I wanted to set up first. So I'm gonna share with you those tips and tricks. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So the first thing I did was I enabled my battery percent and you can see that I have a battery percent here and if you look at your pixel it's not there. Let me show you how I changed that. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the settings area. So we're going to swipe down twice and we're going to go into this little cogs area and I'm going to type in battery, I'll show you how quickly you can find it, battery percentage. When you go into battery percentage you notice how it highlights it and you'll notice up here at the very top if I turn it off it turns off and if I turn it on it reappears. That's the first tip. Now the Google Pixel 4 XL is a fantastic camera. And one of the first things you may want to do is share pictures with someone. So if you're with someone and you want to just tap and share, this is what you have to enable. So we're going to go back into the settings area and here we're going to type in NFC. Now when you choose NFC, you'll go into this area, you'll notice here that this is the area that's going to allow you to exchange data when you touch phones. So you want to make sure that that's on. And what that would do is as soon as your phone touches another Android phone, it's going to automatically beam the photo or whatever you have on the screen to that other person. So if you're coming from the Samsung Galaxy line and you miss the vibrant colors, uh, there's one thing that you can do. We're going to go into settings and then what you're going to do is type in colors again. Now when we type in colors, you're going to go into this area and you'll notice that you have three choices. Right now the phone is set to natural. You could go adaptive, which means it's going to change based on its watching, or you can go into boosted. Boosted is going to give you the closest experience if you're coming from a Samsung Galaxy phone. Now this next tip is going to help you with battery life and it also makes it easier on the eyes. We're going to swipe down and we're going to go into the toggle area this time and we're going to swipe over. And you'll notice that you have dark theme. As soon as you enable this, your dialer, your messages, everything is going to have this dark look. It's easier on the eyes and it saves the battery too. Now this next tip is going to be great, especially if you misplace your phone and you want to be able to identify it quickly. So we're going to go into settings again and we're going to type in lock screen message. So notice lock screen message. And when you go into lock screen message, you'll notice that I have on mine EVP Mantech reviews. So you can put, if lost contact, you can put your name on it, which will make it easier to identify the phone as being yours. Now if you ever found yourself looking at your phone, reading an article, and then the screen turns off because it timed off, well, I'm going to show you how you can make sure that your phone is paying attention to you watching the screen and it won't turn off. So we're going to go back into settings and I'm going to type in display and I'm going to type in screen and then attention. So we're going to go into this area. So by turning this on, the phone will remain on the screen until it sees that your eyes move away. Now, as you know, the Google Pixel 4 and 4 XL don't have expandable memory. So as you download information, if you don't remove it, it's really easy to get a lot of clutter and also to use up all your memory. I'm going to show you how to enable smart storage. So we're going to go into the settings area again, and we're going to type in smart storage. And you type on that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to enable smart storage. And by enabling smart storage is that it's going to back up videos and also content automatically for you. And it's also going to give you some tips and tricks to eliminate content that you may have not used in a very long time. Now one of the neat things, but also one of the pains about the Google Pixel 4 and 4 XL is that navigation has changed. So if you're an old school user like I am and you don't really like all the swipe gestures, notice how I have my navigation there. I'm going to show you how to get it back. So we're going to go into settings. We're going to type in navigation and then you're going to turn on three button navigation because this is what your phone looks like right now. It may be difficult to get used to. You can always go back to the old school of three button navigation. Now the last step I'm going to share with you is going to be great, especially if you're in a work environment or you're a student and you need to record lectures. So what you can do is use the record option. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the record option and what I'd like you to notice is that as I am speaking, it is actually translating what I'm saying. So this is a great tool. If you're in an office environment, if you're a college student and you're looking to keep better notes, you can use this in the lecture hall, you can use this in the conference room, and it's gonna keep all your notes nice and handy for you. Now one of the coolest features that the phone has to offer, now one of the coolest features that the Google Pixel 4 and 4XL have is astrophotography. So if you like going outside and taking pictures of the moon and stars, this is what you have to do to get crispy clear pictures in absolute darkness of the stars. So take a look at this picture here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can see how clean those stars are. 
If you take your phone and you hold it to the moon or to the sky and you try to take the picture, nothing special is going to happen. But if you have a tripod or you lean this on a table and you press the button while not touching it, the phone is going to think that you have a tripod and it's going to go into astrophotography mode. It will take a picture that will take sometimes anywhere from two to three minutes and give you a beautiful photo like this. I'm going to zoom out so that you can see. So this is how much light it picked up. And then as I go over here and zoom in, you can see how clear those stars are. That's how you get astrophotography. So either use a tripod or prop it somewhere on a table where you're not holding it, push the button, and you'll see the timer count down from anywhere from two to three minutes to give you this type of photo. So guys, that wraps up the first things you should try when getting your Google Pixel 4 and 4XL. Stay tuned to the channel because we have cases, accessories, and we also have more tips and tricks coming. See you in the next one.